So how do you start an ATM business? Now, I personally always had multiple streams of income, all of us here do, and I was walking by an ATM one day at a mall and I was thinking, you know, how can I make money by having people use my ATM just for their own convenience because they don't have any cash on them? So I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do and what to expect to start your business, such as the overhead, how much you can make, the difficulties, and exactly what to do to get started the best way. Hi, I'm the business guy. And today we're going to talk about how to start an ATM business. And I've been in the company formation field since 1991. Our company started in 1906. We have attorneys on our staff and one of the nation's leading business startup firms. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our expertise to look at one specific business, the ATM business. And if you're watching this on YouTube, please click the like button below and enter your comments. And you can also click the subscribe button so that when more videos come out like this, you'll get notified. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly what to do. I'm gonna give you the contacts, the suppliers, how much it costs and so on. So basically everything so that once you're done watching this video, you can get up and start making money right away. And in this video on starting a business, I wanna give you all the information you could possibly need because a lot of people on YouTube are big on hype, but they don't tell you step-by-step step exactly what to do, how to get started. So rather than leaving you here scratching your head, I wanna make sure you have all the information that you need right now. So even if you don't wanna be into the ATM business, say you wanna get into the vending machine business, the landscaping business, the uh, building maintenance business, you can come and you can use the principles that you're gonna learn right now on any business. And also notice how we break down the numbers. So. Step one is how much money is it, does it actually take to start? We call this your startup cost. So we mean, how much money does it take to start the ATM business? How much does an ATM machine actually cost? How much does everything cost so there's no guessing? So I'm gonna actually call one of the top companies that sells ATM machines. Uh, three of the top ones are National ATM Systems, ATM Global, and Ocean ATM, as well as Premier ATM Services and I'm going to put their names in the notes below. And so the great thing is that they'll come out and actually install your ATM for free. So you don't have to do anything, but keep it full of cash. Now that being said, be sure to buy a new ATM, not a used one. People on Craigslist and other places are selling ATM machines, and some of them have software installed that send people's credit card information over the internet back to the person who sold you the ATM. So they can steal people's money and could drag you into some big investigation. It's something you have to talk your way out of. So buy new. Plus, if it breaks down, it could end up costing you more money than the little bit you save. So buy from a reputable ATM vendor. And these companies do all the maintenance and repairs for you because you want to focus on what you do best, making money and not running around and fixing the little things. And believe me, you make a whole lot more money with this than with this, right? So the ATM companies also set you up with a full notification system. So you ask, tell me, you know, when my ATM's out of cash, how do I know it's time to fill it up again? How will I know how much money I'm making each day and how many transactions are there? Now, when you buy an ATM from one of these companies, they send you text messages. Plus you can go online and you can see your profits, your daily cash supply for each machine. And you can also see how much money you've made each day, week, month, and then bing, the text says one of your machines is low on cash. So I'm gonna go ahead and call one of these companies right now. So, so don't worry, their phone numbers are down below in the notes or, or on a link below. So you don't need to know their phone number. We're gonna call them and hopefully they answer and we can help. Okay, so here we go, let's call. National ATM Systems, can I help you? Hello, yeah, I wanted to get in the ATM business and I just wanted to know what, what it costs for a machine, please. It all depends on what type of machine. You can look at anywhere from $16.95 to sky's the limit. <laughs> okay, very good. And uh, what would be like an average cost for a, a machine that might go in a bar or restaurant? Um, that same thing, depending on whether you want a new one or a used one and um, if you want one that uh, however, however much money it wants to hold. Okay, very good. Okay, well, thanks very much. So what do I do next? 
Well, I can let you talk with uh, one of our, uh, our sales reps. His name is Jason Wing, and um, he can guide you through the process of what you may actually need. Okay, okay thanks very much. Let me call back in a little bit. Okay, so you see how easy that was. Just just make a phone call. And, and again, the numbers or the links to the numbers are down below. And uh, I, you know, I, I did some research, and that, that's right about the, the, uh, the, the price that I uh, estimated. And so uh, remember, whenever you're calling, just be really polite, friendly, cordial, pleasant, and professional. So my research shows around 2200 let's use 2200 as a, as a figure now each machine holds about 16 to 24,000 at a time but keep in mind you don't have to put that much money in there up front you can put in less you just need to make sure that you run down and fill it up before it runs out so let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and do the math and that's that's what we're talking about right the money how, we, we got to do the math so how much do you get paid minus how much it costs and hopefully you have this big thing left over called profit. So figure out your cost, and I always estimate the expenses will be higher. See, that's why he said 2095 but I say 2200 for the expense. And that way you're prepared for higher, and if it's lower, it's great. But in the end, uh, you end up making more, you're, you're great. But if you end up making less, you're, you're in trouble. So calculate on the high side for expenses. So let's say your average ATM that you purchase will be around $2,200 to buy. Now that's the beauty of this business because you don't actually have to buy the ATM until you get a customer. Uh, you have a place to put it. Say I saw a barber shop down the street from me. It's a super busy place and people pay with cash. They tip with cash. So I might go in there and say, you know, you can make a whole lot more money with an ATM in here. Can I install one here for you for free? In fact, I'll handle everything. I'll maintain it. I'll fill it with cash and everything. And he'll be like, yeah, that's a great idea. Why not? So when he tells me, to go for it, I get a contract that I keep in my car, always be prepared, and you can say go to month to month, and he'll be more comfortable. Plus, if it's not profitable enough, I can move to another location quickly. So you don't have to invest money, you just have to wait until you have a contract and a guaranteed customer, then you order your ATM. It's way better than a, say a retail store. Say, you know, where, you, where somebody starts a clothing store, they buy a whole bunch of stuff, and it just sits there forever, and, and you could have it installed right away when it's an ATM machine once you have a client. And that costs $2,200 to buy, including installation. Then you put the cash in, maybe $2,000, maybe $1,000. And keep in mind, that's money being recycled. So t somebody takes money out of your cash machine, and boom, the, the bank zaps it right back into your account plus your fee. Now think about it. In retail, somebody starts a retail store or something like that, the stuff you hope people will buy then you have to stand there all day hoping somebody walks in and buys it, right? You know, what a drag. So with an ATM, you don't even have to show up until you get an alert on your cell phone that it's time to refill out cash. And, and, and then uh, plus you get your profit automatically deposited into your account, plus whatever they took out of your ATM machine. And you don't even have to be there all day and you can make a profit, unlike retail where you have to stand around all day. So your money is, is recycled. Somebody takes it out of your machine, money goes straight into your bank account electronically. You go into your bank where the money is being deposited each day and you walk in, you get cash withdrawal and you go fill up your machine again. Now, you know, be aware of the surroundings when you're filling the machine. You know, if you don't feel safe, go away, come back later. So again, you only need $2,200 to buy the machine plus maybe $2,000 in cash. So you have legal protection and tax deductions be sure to set up an LLC, and that's around 500 bucks or so, depending on the state. So, so go ahead and call. You can call us. We do that. We set up companies. one 4812 So you call Companies Incorporated and get an LLC set up right away. So that's extremely important that you get the legal protection and the tax deductions and that you get an LLC right away. So you want to open your business account in the LLC name. The ATM sends an electronic signal to the bank over the internet, you know, Bank America customer uses your ATM, withdraws $40. Uh, you charge the debit card holder, let's say a $4 fee on top of that. And the customer takes $40 cash out of the ATM and Bank of America then deposits $44 into your account. So all you really need to get started is right around $4,700 to start your ATM business. So what are the business expenses? Some uh, sometimes you, you put an ATM in because the business owner makes more money and the cash is conveniently available to their customer, so they're going to spend more at that business. So that's your selling point to that business. Sometimes you need to buy more leverage. Give them a cut of the profits, so you pay them a commission. 
and you get to deduct that expense that you pay the commission that you pay to the business owner, just like you get a tax deduction on other expenses. So you don't have to pay taxes on that expense. That's a commission. So only offer a commission if you need to to get to get in the door. Remember, you're doing all the work, buying the machine. So offer them 25% of the profits up front. You can go up to 35% if you need to, but do your best to try to keep it at 25%. The key thing is get it into a place that has a lot of foot traffic. You can always go higher in percentages, but only if you need to. If there are tons of people, say, let's say 4 to 8% of the people walking into a business typically use an ATM. So if a business has 150 people a day, or a mall could have you know, two or 3,000 people walking by your machine every day, that's 6 to 12 people a day for the business, or uh, for the mall, it's uh, 80 to 160 people a day. So let's be conservative and call it 40 people a day, for example. So let's go ahead and, uh, and talk about some of the best locations for ATM machines. Convenience stores, restaurants, gas stations, casinos, clubs, bars. And in fact, these places like clubs and bars, people will pay you know, 7 to $8 to use an ATM machine because they need the cash right away. And when people are leaving, they want to tip the bartender, maybe pay a valet uh, to, who valet their car and leave, and they just need to get the money right now. And if they, if they want to get the car back, that is, because valets usually don't take credit cards, it's, it's all cash. So it's a high foot traffic area. So you can charge more and give a higher percentage to the owner, you'll still make the same money. Because you're, you're charging more per transaction. So you, would, so let, you could even do a 50-50 split with the owner of a bar and the commissions never really have to cost you more because you simply jack up the fee uh, for making up for it. Now, don't get too greedy because the cardholders aren't going to get totally ripped off. But hey, you're offering a great convenience and people will pay you a bit more for that if you're reasonable. Now, the second expense is for the internet. And you can usually just hook up to the business owner's internet for free so that doesn't have to cost you anything. Alternatively, you can use your ATM vendor to hook up the internet and everything, so that's easy for you. Say they install the internet and they charge you 20 cents a transaction. Not a big deal when you're making, say, $4, $5, $8 a transaction. Otherwise, you can just get your own modem and internet. You can have AT&T or T-Mobile install the internet for you, mobile internet, and pay, say, $20 a month. So for the expense, it's only 20 bucks a month for the internet. Then you pay, let's say, 25% to the business owner if you have to, if you pay them anything. So really, there's not many expenses, and it's pretty simple math. Now, let's go ahead and talk profit, right? And that's really what you want to know, right? That's the exciting part. Now, keep in mind, there are businesses popping up every day. So you be the first one to get in there and offer your services. If they already have a machine, these are most likely outdated machines. Remember, you're buying new ones. Sell that. You'll be replacing their old machine with a brand new one, and maybe they're not getting the cut of the profit, or you can offer a bigger cut than they're getting. And when you're friendly, you're professional, you offer a good deal, a good percent, a great percent of the time, you'll get the deal. So college campuses and bars are incredible. Remember, you put an ATM in a bar and you can charge, say, five, six, eight dollars. I mean, eight dollars, people won't care. They want your ATM for convenience. Now, if you live in New York, Los Angeles, Miami, Houston, Great, 300 people walk into the business a day and 8% of those use the machine, that's 24 people. If you have 10 people a day walking into the business, don't put the machine in there. Uh, you, you would not put the machine in a music shop. Maybe you'd put it in a gas station down the street from the music shop. You, you can charge $3 to $7 or $8 per transaction, depending on where it is, and with 24 people coming in and using it per day. So, so let's go ahead and do the math. Okay, now you have 24 people using the ATM each day. You charge $4 per transaction, so 24 times 4, $96 a day. So $96 a day times seven days a week, that's $672 in fees, okay? Now let's say you give 25% of that to the business owner. That leaves you with $504. Okay, now multiply that $504 by 4.33 weeks per month, and that's the average number of weeks in a month, and that's $2,182 profit per month, okay? Now multiply that per month profit by 12, and that's $26,184 per year on that one $2,200 machine. Okay, so let's say you only had 10 machines out there, okay? 
That's $21,810 a month that you're earning. That's $261,720 a year. And that's with even sharing some of your profits and you don't even have to be there the whole time. Just fill up the machine when you get a text message, when it's getting low. Now here's a question, exactly how much money will be in the ATM? You say, hey, I don't have $100,000 in cash right now. Now if your average withdrawal is $60, so you get 24 people a day at $60 per average transaction, that's $1,440 a day. So you'll go in almost every day if you only put $2,000 in to, to begin with. Now if you have an ATM location that people are taking out $10 to $20 a day, that's $20 times 24, that's $480. So you go in about every four days and refill your machine. So at $4 a pop, you're making $96 per day, and after 30 days, you've made $2,880 minus any commissions that you may pay. And remember, when somebody takes a withdrawal out of your machine, that money gets automatically deposited back into your account within 24 hours, plus your fees, so the money just keeps going around and around. So as we said, the initial startup cost is around $4,700, and the expenses are around $40 to $50 per machine. And that's a pretty small amount to make over $20,000 a month. And now we're gonna show you how to do it in a little bit. Okay, so what are the challenges? That's a good question. First of all, many banks already have ATMs in their branches, you know, all around town. You got Wells Fargo, Chase, US Bank, PNC, SunTrust. You know, every, every grocery store has an ATM, but not every new business has an ATM, right? Because new businesses are popping up every day. So you go into the new club, bar, restaurant, and be the first one in and negotiate with them. They want their customers to have access to easy cash because the business makes more money. Or hey, I see you have an ATM right there. You can walk in with a, with a shirt and tie or a polo shirt with your logo on it. And remember, you set up the LLC, right? And you put the company name on a polo shirt. So you say, hey, I'm in the ATM business. And you walk in and you say, hey, we can install it right here for you for free. And we can also most likely give you a better offer than you're now getting on the machine. And, and this will be a brand new machine with over, let's say, 25 percent, maybe even 40 percent you give to the business owner. And it's all about the other guy, giving them more profits, focusing on the benefits that you'll give to them. Now, older ATMs don't have the security. Some people have been hacked. They steal credit card data. And with newer machines, we have the top security. So you're talking to the business owner. For, so if your customers have access to more money, they can spend with you, you get a cut of the ATM profits, you get a brand new machine, and we see that you are selling the benefits now, okay? That's what you're doing, you're selling the benefits. So in about one to two weeks, you'll install the brand new machine, and remember your ATM vendor will do all that installation. So go in there and you help the business owner show what you can do for them. Hand them the contract and make sure he signs right on the spot. So that's how you start an ATM business, and that's how you can make in excess of $20,000 a month. And remember, please click on the like button and the subscribe button. This is The Business Guy.